at Hamner Hall, Gate and Williams retreat to focus on family during battle with cancer The Princess of Wales has asked for privacy. As her family retreats after weeks of ridiculous speculation about her health culminates in the shocking revelation of a cancer diagnosis. In a heartfelt video message released on Friday night, Kate said it had been an incredibly difficult few months for her family and revealed she was in the early stages of preventative chemotherapy. And asked for time, space, and privacy. She has finished her treatment. I reiterated my request. The 42-year-old explained that she underwent major surgery on her abdomen on January 14 for what was thought to be a non-cancerous disease. But subsequent tests revealed she tested positive for the disease, and she said, it was a huge shock, she said. As messages of support poured in from around the world, Kensington Palace issued a new statement the following night. Saying Duchess Kate and Prince William were very touched by the well-wishers and extremely grateful for their understanding. I am grateful. Request for privacy at this time. When their three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, arrived for the Easter school holidays, the royal couple decided to protect their mother from intense health coverage in the press. Although the type of cancer has not been disclosed, Duchess Kate is said to be doing well and is making a positive recovery. I decided to share this news. She describes herself as healthy and getting stronger every day. The announcement could help. And weeks of intense speculation and conspiracy theories about the princess whereabouts and her health. The five are believed to be recuperating at Hamner Hall in Norfolk the Queen's wedding gift to the Welsh nation, to focus on her young family until she recovers. The Georgian country house, part of the Sandringham estate in the village of Anmer, is one of several properties available to the Prince and Princess of Wales across England. In autumn 2022, the young family moved into Adelaide Cottage, a four-bedroom historic home just a ten-minute walk from Windsor Castle. Before settling there, the royal couple lived in an apartment at London's Kensington Palace from the time their first son was born. Kate and her family will need time away from the public during treatment, so find out where the five of them will be sheltering, as well as the other homes of her family. Anmer Hall, the Prince and Princess of Wales 10-bedroom country retreat, was gifted to the couple by the Queen after their wedding and will be the place the young family will call home while Kate. A royal advisor told the Sunday Times that the five will leave the country over the Easter holidays to isolate themselves from the world and move forward together. The included red brick Georgian mansion sits on the king's vast Sandringham estate in Norfolk, just a short drive from his Sandringham house. Duchess of Wales recovers from cancer. It is said that it will happen. Kate oversaw extensive renovations including converting the timber store into nanny accommodation and creating a garden room. Duchess Kate was dubbed the Kate of Three Kitchens after it was reported that a new kitchen would be installed to replace the existing £50,000 designer kitchen, as Kensington Palace already had two. Boltol, which once housed a swimming pool and tennis court, received a new roof at a cost of £500,000 as well as a garden room, a redesigned driveway and a new nursery for Prince George and Princess Charlotte. The renovations, which reportedly cost £1.5 million, were largely financed with private funds from the royal family. Apartment 1A at Kensington Palace, the royal couple's home in central London, was once owned by Princess Margaret and remains her official residence. It was renovated at a cost to the taxpayer of £4.5 million, with a new roof and electrical system and asbestos removed. It has approximately 20 rooms and a large private walled garden. The Cambridges wanted to add a second kitchen, adding to his existing 32 square meters kitchen and having a dedicated family kitchen. Before Prince William and Duchess Kate moved to KP in 2013, 
royal advisers insisted it would remain their primary residence for many years to come. Royal spokesperson said at the time, this is the Duke and Duchess's only official residence. They want to live here for years. Adelaide Cottage The grade 2 listed four-bedroom home in a private home park in Windsor is Prince William and Duchess Kate's newest home. The Duke and Duchess own the Crown Estate and will pay market rent for the picturesque historic building near Windsor Castle. Built in 1831 as Queen Adelaide's summer residence, she once enjoyed the fame and goodwill of Peter Townsend, whose romance with Princess Margaret rocked the monarchy in the 1950s. It has long been reported that Prince William was given a cottage called Tamnagar on Balmoral Estate by the Queen Mother. But he is neither a tenant nor the owner of the house. This house belongs to the royal estates and is leased to the royal family. According to an independent source, Kensington Palace said, while college roommates William and Kate were dating. They spent romantic weekends at his three-bedroom former hunter's home where Kate learned to shoot and fish. The secluded Highland Retreat is located near Burkle and is reportedly used by the Cambridge family as a holiday home during their summer trips to Balmoral.